Day 7. Loving Yourself. A Review of Your First Week. Today, you look at how far you've come and how much you've accomplished toward breaking free of your old beliefs and discovering future possibilities. Congratulations, dear ones. You have made it through your first week of mirror work. I am so proud of you for sticking with this course and practicing your mirror work these past seven days. Mirror work takes time, and I am so glad you have given yourself these 21 days to learn it. The more you practice, the easier it will get. It's okay if you still feel a bit silly or uncomfortable when you look in your mirror. Saying, I love you, I really love you, to ourselves is hard for most of us at first. It may take several weeks or even a month to be entirely comfortable saying these loving words to yourself. But once you can say them with more ease, you will see positive changes in your life. Over the past seven days, you have invited your mirror to become your friend and constant companion. You have learned how it will help you become much more aware of what you say and do. You have taken time to listen to your self-talk and to practice your positive affirmations. Again, I want to emphasize that doing mirror work is an act of true love, one of the most loving gifts you can give yourself. Each day that you practice your mirror work, you may fall in love with yourself a little bit more. The best way to love yourself is to release all the junk from your past, the self-judgments, the old stories that hold you back, so you can live in the present moment. We have all gotten into the habit of believing negative statements we have heard since childhood. When you can turn these negative affirmations into positive statements and practice them looking into your mirror, you can let go of some of these past hurts and move on. Each day that you do your mirror work, you are clearing out the layers of the past. Each time you say an affirmation in the mirror, you are removing another block in these layers. It has taken years for these layers to form, built of blocks like the bricks that make up a large wall. It will take time to break through these layers, but you can start with one block. Each time you remove one block or one layer, you allow more light and love to shine through. As you begin to believe the positive affirmations you say in your mirror, more of this beautiful love will break through the walls of your past. No matter what the problem is, the best way to resolve it is by loving yourself. If every now and then you hear the voice of your inner critic picking on you for something or making a negative remark, it is okay. You always have your friend and companion, your mirror, to turn to. Look yourself deeply in the eyes and say, I am worth loving, and keep up the good work. Let's affirm. I celebrate this week of loving myself with mirror work. I now move into a new space of consciousness in which I am willing to see myself differently. Your Day 7 Mirror Work Exercise 1. Stand in front of your bathroom mirror. 2. Look into your eyes. 3. Say these affirmations. I love you. I really love you. And I'm so proud of you for doing your mirror work. 4. Repeat these affirmations 10 times, adding your name. I love you, name. I really love you. I love you, name. I really love you. And I'm so proud of you for doing your mirror work. 5. Look at your forehead and imagine that you are pressing a button there and ejecting a disc of your old beliefs and negative thoughts that has been playing in your head. Take your hand and imagine that you are pulling that disc out of your head and throwing it away. 6. Now look deeply into your eyes and imagine that you are making a new CD of positive affirmations. I am willing to let go. I am worth loving. I am perfect just the way I am. The Power is Within You, your Day 7 Journaling Exercise 1. 
take out your journal and open it to the first exercise you did on day one. Two, read the feelings and observations you wrote down after your mirror work on day one. Three, on a new page, write down your feelings and observations after the first week of doing your mirror work. Are the exercises getting easier? Are you feeling more comfortable looking in the mirror? Four. Write down where you are having the most success with your mirror work. Write down where you are having the most difficulty. Five, create new affirmations to help you in those areas where you are having blocks. Your heart thought for day seven: All my experiences are right for me. We have been going through doors since the moment we were born. That was a big door and a big change, and we have all been through many doors since. We came to this lifetime equipped with everything we need in order to live fully and richly. We have all the wisdom and knowledge we need. We have all the abilities and talents we need. We have all the love we need. Life is here to support us and take care of us. We need to know and trust that this is so. Doors are constantly closing and opening, and if we stay centered in ourselves, we will always be safe, no matter which doorway we pass through. Even when we pass through the last doorway on this planet, it is not the end; it is simply the beginning of another new adventure. Trust that it is all right to experience change. Today is a new day. We will have many wonderful new experiences. We are loved. We are safe. Your day seven meditation, Spirit, I am. We are the only ones who can save the world. As we band together for the common cause, we find the answers. We must always remember that there is a part of us that is far more than our bodies, far more than our personalities, far more than our diseases. And far more than our past, there is a part of us that is more than our relationships. The very core of us is pure spirit, eternal. It always has been, and always will be. We are here to love ourselves and to love one another. By doing this, we will find the answers that we can heal ourselves and the planet. We are going through extraordinary times. All sorts of things are changing. We may not even know the depth of the problems, yet we are swimming as best as we can. This too shall pass, and we will find solutions. We connect on a spiritual level, and on the level of spirit, we are all one. We are free, and so it is.